Hi, I'm Ms. Roberts and I'm going to be doing a dialysis demonstration for you today. So before we start the lab, I need to show you a couple of demonstrations so you understand the things that are going to happen. So inside of this beaker, I just have plain old water. And to this, I'm going to add some different components. So first thing I'm going to add is just some regular old cornstarch. I'm going to add this in there. Then I'm going to mix it up. Okay, first off, I want you to pay attention to the current color. What we're doing today is we're using something called an indicator solution. Our indicator solution is going to be iodine. Iodine is going to help us to indicate the presence of starch. So pay attention to the color that this is now, and I want you to pay attention to the color of the iodine. So iodine is typically used as like a antiseptic, so at hospitals, if you've ever had surgery or if you've had stitches, you've kind of seen the color that this is, it's kind of a reddish orange color there. Okay, so I want you to think about, if I add this to the starch solution, what do you think is gonna happen? Hopefully maybe you're thinking about like a color change is gonna happen. Maybe it's gonna turn the color of the iodine. Maybe it'll stay the same color. So let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna add some of the iodine. And then I'm gonna mix it up. So you'll see that our indicator solution has indicated that we have starch because it turned this pretty purple color. So for question number one on your lab sheet, go ahead and answer what happened. But hang on, are you about to write, it turned purple? Because remember, your job as a student is to prove to me that you understand what's going on. And the only way that you can do that is using good details. So what turned purple? And also don't forget, why did it turn purple? Make sure you're using stuff like the word iodine, the word starch, and describe what I did. Okay, so pause this for a second and answer question number one. Okay, so after you're done, now let's go ahead and start our lab. So today we're gonna to be using something called dialysis tubing. So this is what dialysis tubing looks like when it's dry. Kind of looks like tape. It's really hard to kind of see. But dialysis tubing is really useful because it operates as a semi-permeable membrane, just like the cell membrane as we've talked about. Because what happens is if someone needs dialysis, it means that their kidneys aren't working, so they need some way to filter out their blood. And so a machine has to do that instead. And the reason why we're using this dialysis tubing is because this is semi-permeable. So that means it's not gonna let stuff like germs get in, but it still allow things like oxygen to go through. So it keeps the person's blood healthy while the machine is cleaning them. So if we put the dialysis tubing in water, now it becomes kind of like a little bit pliable. It's not that crispiness to it. So this is a tube and I'm gonna put some stuff in it. So I'm going to first tie a knot in the end. So that way when I put stuff in it, it's not gonna all fall out the bottom. Okay, so now I have this opening at the top here. And now I'm gonna prepare my solution. So I've got some water here. Actually, I'm gonna dry this off a little bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna add some water to it. And I'm gonna take our starch and I'm gonna add it in and mix it up. Okay, so kind of a little miniature version of what we just did. And now I'm going to take my pipette here. This is a clean pipette. This is what we're gonna to use to deposit the solution inside. And I'm gonna put in just enough so that I can still tie it here at the top. Okay, then I'm going to tie a knot in the top. That way, nothing will be able to come out of it. This is the hard part because we've got all this stuff inside of it and you don't want to squeeze it out on accident. Can't get it tied. <laughs> I 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take this now, and it's full of our starch solution. And I've just got some plain water in this cup, and I'm going to drop it in here. So what we want to find out is, is this dialysis tubing, is it semi-permeable to the starch or to the iodine? So to find that out, we've kind of separated them. The starch is on the inside, and now I'm going to take some of our iodine, and I'm going to put it on the outside. And I'm going to mix it up. So now we're going to leave this overnight, and we're going to try to find out which one is going to be the permeable one. Will it be the starch, or will it be the iodine? How will we know which one is permeable? Well, we'll be looking for this reaction to happen. Okay, so see you in 24 hours.